finding childcare actually was a nightmare. Bridget Casey is a working mom who spends a huge chunk of her paycheck on childcare for her daughter. Right now, her daycare bill is over $1,000 per month. It's not quite as high as my rent, but it's close. Because this pandemic has disproportionately impacted working parents, especially working mothers, policy experts say a federal child care strategy should be front and center in this election. We are not going to get back to economic normal while women are still back in the home. And without child care, there is no coming out of this recession. The Liberals remain committed to their $30 billion plan to create a $10 a day national child care program, which seven provinces plus the Yukon have already signed on to. The NDP's platform includes a universal $10 a day program for all parents. While the Conservatives have a different strategy, a refundable tax credit program to cover a maximum of 75% of daycare costs for low-income families to replace the $10 a day plan. Critics of the tax credit approach question its impact. There's no benefits for families that are earning more than $150,000 per year. And that sounds like a lot uh, to many families, but that is still like a middle-class family in Toronto. One concern with a $10 a day plan is in its implementation. Big provinces like Ontario and Alberta aren't yet on board. There isn't enough in the deals that we've seen to date which require the provinces and territories to put in the infrastructure, the kind of infrastructure which supports our public education system. As we approach election day, some parents want to hear a wide range of options. I would love to see federal leaders start looking into alternatives of child care, whether that be um, spouses taking leave of absence from work where their job is still secure. According to Scotiabank Research, childcare is the single biggest household expenditure for the average Canadian family, which means this affordability issue could be the biggest ballot box issue for families too. Anne Gaviola, Global News, Toronto.